My name is uh, Benjamin Elton and I'm going to talk about how religious ritual can help generate a feeling of control over our own lives. It's very difficult to take control of our lives. You have your job, you have responsibilities at home, people are encouraged to take part in all sorts of voluntary activity and you can feel very powerless, very robbed of control. I was giving a class about uh, Kiddush Levana, about the prayer which is said over the moon when it's still growing in the first half of the month. One makes the blessing early in the month when the moon is still small because one wants to assert control over the moon. And this um, ritual of Kiddush Levana is a symbol, a monthly symbol, that we're going to be in control of our time and not the other way around. I gave this presentation and then there was a break before I gave a, a further shear late in the evening. And during that coffee break, a young woman came up to me. She told me how she'd been through a very painful breakup. She felt that this boyfriend with whom it didn't work out was really in control. If he wanted to go out with her, they'd go out. If he didn't, she just felt discarded, like she had no control over the course of that relationship. And she said to me she would find it very meaningful to say Kiddush Levana as a way of reasserting in her own mind and in her own life that she was the actor in her life and she wasn't subject to the uh, wishes of others and, and um, subject to their whims. Women generally do not say Kiddush Levana. It's the tradition in many communities that women don't say this blessing over the new moon. And therefore she asked me if it was possible to say it or whether she should follow the custom and not say it. And so I advised her that indeed she should say it. There's no prohibition against it. And if she found it powerful and if she found it meaningful and if it helped her to recover a sense of control over her life, then she should certainly use that ritual in order to do so. Mm -hmm.